hello there welcome back to my channel if you're new here i'm amina and i'm here every week to bring you exciting flavors into your kitchen today i'm going to show you how to make a comforting corn soup and to start by dicing some onion Add ice and one onion. Then some garlic. By doing this to the garlic, you ease in the peeling process as well as the mincing. Head and then some ginger. Medium low heat, I'm going to add in some water. And let this let it melt first. Ginger and garlic. Now we'll let this soot for some we'll let this soot for some minutes, then we'll add in new ingredients. You know, corn and butter always goes well, so well. To reduce the cooking time and all that, I went ahead and used sweet corn, but not only sweet corn. <laughs> I've reduced the stress by using canned sweet corn. Sweet potato here as well. Black pepper. Some turmeric to enhance the golden yellow color plus it's anti-inflammatory and as similar add flavor to our soup okay. I'm going to go ahead and add one piece of cardamom cardamom is a strong spice so you have to use it with caution. We'll crush it first. And then goes. And then some salt to test. In this water, I have dissolved one boiling cube, chicken boiling cube, and I will add it to the side. So, and we'll bring this to a boil. 
see when the potatoes are well cooked don't, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't you don't want to miss any of this weekly deliciousness now i'm going to and add in some cream I'm more butter. There is no such thing as too much butter. Plus, we want that rich flavor, butter flavor in the soup. So more butter. Now we're going to blend this into a smooth texture. This goes into the blender. Ooh. That's how it looks. Oh. As a test, but I love to decorate it more, so I would drizzle some more cream on top of it. Followed by Mokan. Black sesame seeds for more added texture plus flavor at the same time. And lastly, some fresh parsley leaves. Don't forget to give this this video a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't i would love to see how you make this soup when you do that don't forget to tag me either on instagram or on twitter i will leave the links on the description box below and with that be well and see you next week